All right, week four NMAA semi-pro basketball. Today we've got a matchup between Al Qamar and Black Mambas. Al Qamar is coming off of a historic win, scoring 96 points in their last outing before breaking from Memorial Day weekend. They could have easily broken 100 if the ref didn't stop the game early. And today they are, uh, I believe they're down right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure who's winning. But uh, Black Mamba's rookie debut for Clark. Replacement for last season's MVP, Adam Dorsey, who has unfortunately gone down with a broken foot and is out for this season. Feel bad for the guy. Oh, one over here. Dying on the play. Someone should probably uh, wipe the massive wet spot <laughs> on the floor. But yeah, we've got uh, a full squad today for Black Mambas. But for Alhama, they are missing sharpshooter Haris David and Aboud, who's missing today after uh, celebrating the birth of uh, another child. So congratulations to him. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, and Clark with a tough left-handed finish. 54-56, well, we've got a double team here. Looks like a foul. Yusuf with a pump fake, oh! And the foul on Ozzy. Clock's running here. That's probably gonna be the end of the third quarter. Looks like we've got a good matchup. Hopefully a good fourth quarter. Likely going to be a high-scoring game, 54-56. Oftentimes, 50s are, uh, are how many points a team can score in an entire game. Uh, usually, if you can break the 60-point mark, you're likely going to be in a good position to win the game. 57-54. It is al that are up in the lead right now. Yusuf with the second free throw on. Lucky there. No good, going into the fourth quarter, 54-57. On the other side, we've got a matchup between the first and second place teams. First being Nars, who's undefeated, opening the season 3-0, and the second team, or second place team being Tawheed. Nader's having an excellent game, by the way, um, who are coming into this game. Uh, two and one. Now, unfortunately, both teams are missing some key players here. Nars is missing their top scorer in Amin Hafiz. And they're also missing Malik, who's a, a, a hustle player for them. Tarn with a jumper here. Rebound by Muhammad Alta. All right! Nazar for three to cut the lead to five for uh, Tawheed. They are missing Zakir. And they are missing Ahmed Shah, actually. Another sharp shooter missing today. So both teams missing key players. Cost for three, short. And that's the end of it, fourth quarter. Nars going in, down five. All right. Back on the other side, Nick with a quick pull. Uh, rebound there by Pat. Clark breaking, breaking down the D, but missing. Missing at the rim. Tony bringing up the ball. Juan out to Tony. With a good feed there to Nick, kicks it back out to Tony. Wide open shot. Oh. Percy breaking down the defense and finishing at the rim. Look at Percy. <laughs> what is he doing? That guy's been feeling good this season. He's averaging over 20 points per game. Last week went off for 30. What was it? 34 points. Good lord. <laughs> Got a wedgie. Might be the first wedgie of the uh, of the season here. 61-50, 10 minutes to go. Coach Ahmed Shihab bringing up the ball here for Al-Khamar. Oh, 
Black Mamba's in a, in a man defense right now. Kicking it out to, to Percy, who's being guarded by Clark. Trying to feed, trying to feed Tony. Tony versus Derek. With a cut, looked like it's off of Nick there. Saves it. And Percy, y'all. Oh. Bad miss. Derek on the other end with a spin move finish. All right. Good move there. Good finish by Derek. 61-56. Alcomer still in the lead. And oh, Coach Yahab gets to the line. We'll switch it back over here. 65-62. Tawheed is up by three. Nars is trying to keep this one close. It's been close, really, for, for most of the game, to be fair. Zahid. Launch it, baby. This guy's wet. All right. Kaz with a good matchup here against Tron. And Nazar, we were just talking about his defense on the pod. Foul in transition here. Yeah, he's one of the uh, better, better defenders in the league. Super quick, active hands. Muhammad with a take. All right. Muhammad with a solid take. They should be down. All right, yeah, down one now. Ten minutes to go. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have another good finish in this game as well. Oh, all right, something happened over here. Switching over. Looks like an and one of... All right, we got an and one. Based off the celebrations. One on the line to complete the three-point play. Uh, unlucky. Oh, offensive rebound there by Nick. And... Oh! Big play there by Nick. Kicking it back out to one. Hey, that's... Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a five-point swing there, man. That's got to hurt Black Mambas. And that's got to be a foul there. Yep. Foul on the three-point shot. Derek's going to go to the line for three. Ten-point game. Black Mambas trying to cut it with seven minutes to go. Switching back over. Hamad. The miss here. Nader bringing up the ball out to Ibrahim. Deep, deep, deep. Three. Long. Hamad with the rebound and Sid bringing up the ball here. I don't know if that's a left-handed shot or a right-handed shot. But he's hit a couple. Sid for a deep three and no good. Strong with the offensive rebound up and in. He's been playing well this season. And we've got a timeout. Nars in the lead. 66-65, eight, just under nine to go. Derek here trying to shoot the rest of his three free throws. Tony with a block by Jamal. Black Mambas. Oh, bad pass there. Ozzy finally found himself open. He's been complaining about how he rarely can get himself open anymore. Everyone's just face guarding him. And Derek turns the ball over. That's got to be frustrating there, especially when you're, you're down by seven. Fourth quarter, five minutes to go. A plumber. Slowing down the pace here. Ozzy's falling for the pump fake. Juan with a left-handed finish. No good. Debo with the rebound. Derek to for three. No good. Rebound. Nick out to Percy with the three. Admits to it being a bad shot there. This is what I love about Jamal. This is what I love about Jamal. He's able to get out there and transition. And when he attacks the rim, he can make a play happen out of it. Whether it's a finish, whether it's a line, a trip to the free throw line. Made the play happen there for his team. All right. 
Cuts the lead to four. All right, man, we've got, <laughs> I've got a good game here on both uh, sides here, so forgive me. I'm gonna be switching between both of them. Try to catch the action. Nick missed three. Jamal with the rebound out to Clark. Ooh, good cross over there. Back out to Jamal. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's wide open. Oh. Missing. Yusuf with the rebound. No one's, no one's back. What is... It is taking for... It is taking forever for Black Mamas to get back on defense. Nick with offensive rebound in the finish there. 68-61. I'm going to switch over here. 71-68. Nars is still in the lead now after just jumping up into it. I think they went on a 6-0 run to put themselves in the lead. Chris Ross. I like that Nars has got one of their best defenders on Chris. No, that's not a good pass there. That's a turnover. Sid asking for the ball. I love that mid-range jumper by Sid there. That's a good shot. 73-68. Ibrahim bringing up the ball for Tawheed. Matchup between the top seed and the second seed at the moment. Let's see if Nars can continue their undefeated run. And it's going to be an impressive run, uh, win without their top scorer in an Amin Hafiz. Oh. Harris complaining to the ref there. Kind of gave up on the play. Gave an easy bucket there to cause and a bad pass. Bad turnover there. Neither. Reset in their office. Office here. <clears throat> kind of slowing it down. They're still. So he is down three. Long possession. Kicking it out. Not much happening here. Not much movement, to be honest. They seem tired. They need some screens, need some movement. Uh, that was an ugly possession there by Tawheed. Rebound by Nazar. Dev. Out to his brother, Sid. Oh my gosh. You can't let that happen. That's a good shot there by Sid. Stepped right into it. That's too easy. You got to know your personnel. You got to know that Sid's one of the best three-point shooters in the league right now. Shoots it at a high clip. Poor defense there or poor communication by Tawheed. They are down six. Down six, four minutes to go. And another miss. Their offense seems to be stalling. Where Nars is getting comfortable. They're just getting... Oh my gosh, that is a oh, that is a good opportunity there that, uh, that was blown. If I sit at the rim to put him up eight, that would have been a huge shot. Neither and... Oh, that's, that's a foul, all right? Foul, no? All right, three shots here. Oh my goodness, we've got a three-point game with a minute and a half left. My bad for not catching the action, guys. My apologies. Was recording the other game here, didn't realize it was this close. And with uh, only a minute, I guess they added some, some time back on the clock. Only a minute 40 left to go. Pat is wiping the wet spot this week. We've had some condensation on the floor. Um, yeah, it's it's been a little dodgy where uh, you've got your random wet spots around the around the hoop or in the middle of the floor guys are slipping luckily no one's gotten hurt Nick with a take here out to Percy back out to Nick Ozzy is on Nick and oh that's a uh, that's a that's a it's a tough foul minute minute 20 to go Ozzy's not happy about that I think they wanted to travel there. They're slowing down. Slowing down the uh, the tempo here. Oh my goodness! Turnover. 
It's what you can't afford. Black Mamba, Clark to the rim, it's a foul. And he's going to the line for two. He's going to the line for two. 68, 65, let's see what's happening on this side. You get a quick glance, it is 78, 73. Okay, yep, so Nars is, uh, is up five. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go. And Chris cuts it down to three. Oh gosh, okay, I've got to flip back over here. Are they still drying the floor? These are clutch free throws coming up. Clark in his NMAA semi-pro debut. Finds himself out the line for clutch free throws. First one is no good. Still a three point game. Ah. Oh. And 0 for 2. That's going the other way. Cumber, Cumber ball. They're up three with under a minute to go. What is happening over here? 78 75. So he's got the ball. They're the ones down three, under two minutes to go. Let's see what happens. This is the biggest possession of the game here. Again, not much happening motion wise for Tohid. Yeah, there you go. Just get a screen going. Back out to Chris. Pulls up for three. And Deb with a big rebound. Ah. Uh, Tohid, their offense looks to be stalling a little bit, like I said earlier. They had an opportunity to tie the game or cut it down to one. And it's a turnover. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Three on one. Three on one. Three point shot. You better get it. Chris better get it. Oof. Oh my goodness. Big rebound there. Okay, 68 65 here. And they fouled Percy. Percy's on the line. I'm going to switch back over here. you got to follow Nader. He's one of the best cutters in the league. And what do we got? What do we got? We got a sub here. Chris coming back into the game. Zahed's back in the game as well. Chris mounting the ball. Big possession here. 78, 75, 57 seconds to go. Nader. They're giving the ball to Kaz here and just hoping that something's going to happen. And, and we got a foul. Kaz is going to the line for two shots. Two big free throws coming up here. 78, 75. He's got a chance to cut the game, cut the lead down to one. And 70, 65 here. Black Mambas fouling and trying to extend the game. Percy's on the line. All right. First one's up and in. It is a two-point game now. Second one's up and in. 78, 71. Coach, are you still yelling? Let's get a stop. Oh my gosh, they got hair handling the ball here. Are they? Oh. I was going to say, are they going to cut it close on the uh, 10 seconds? Fouling. Fouling here. I wouldn't have fouled. I would have. Okay, there's another foul. You put Sid, who's a good free throw shooter. They've got one more, one more foul to go. And there it is. Sid's going to go to the line. Oh my goodness, he's missing a lot of free throws here at Clark. And this game looks just about over. It's a seven point game. Hummer's in the lead. So that's that's gonna be two two wins in a row for Al Hummer. After starting out 0-2, they're gonna win two in a row to improve to two and two. I really think uh, that huge win last week is, is gonna kickstart their season. Did Sid just miss a free throw? I think Sid just missed his free throw. <laughs> All right. Here's a two-point game, 79-77, guys. Here we go. 30 seconds. What's the word here, guys? What's the move? 
running the floor, just giving it to Kaz. I feel like he's got a good matchup with Kron guarding him. Yeah, you got to find Chris Ross here. Zion for three. Oh. What happened there? Is it staying? Okay, they're staying. It's staying. Oh, my God. That was a huge shot there by Zion. Honestly, I was expecting it to go in, and they call timeout. Nine seconds to go, 79-77. 79-77, nine seconds. So he down two. Chris Ross with the ball. Pull up three. Oh my God, it was online. Offensive rebound, Chris with the pull back, no. Oh my God, they had their chances, they had their opportunities. They're walking away her here. Oh my goodness, Nars improve to 4-0, and oh, extending their undefeated start to the season. That is a tough loss for Tawheed. Both teams missing key players, but Nars pull away with a 79-77 win. They keep getting lucky at the buzzer. And we got Hamza saying they keep getting lucky at the buzzer. That's uh, in reference to their first loss. Blessed, blessed first loss this season at the buzzer there. Great win.